Baker High School all morning showing us what they're doing. Hey, Christine. Hey, good morning. Yeah, it's kind of reminded you a little bit of Football Friday, right? We had a little bit of band out here, some cheerleaders, some really excited students all here to honor their bus drivers, thank them for all the hard work they do, and of course, encourage more people to apply to be bus drivers. Guys, all morning we've been showing you the students as they work hard to create cards. They were cleaning some buses, serving drivers breakfast as they showed up. Now let's focus, though, on that job fair. So that's happening tonight at the Sullivan Lifelong Learning Center, 5 to 7. Uh, but it really, it's for people. People that have an interest in becoming a bus driver, bus aide, and I'll have David tell us a little bit more about it because you kind of had that inside look at just how big of a need there is in Greenville County as routing coordinator as well. You know, you've got that behind the scenes. So tell us tonight, what do we have to look forward to? Uh, we're looking for anyone who's interested in uh, a full-time job with benefits, okay. uh, great pay at $13.91 an hour. Even if someone wants to work part-time, uh, we have morning positions open, afternoon positions open, uh, a couple of days a week, you know, whatever works for your schedule, we can work that in. And, and you'll be an asset for our organization. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a full-time position. Maybe if you can only spare a couple of hours here and there, you say you can still use that, right? Absolutely. Very Absolutely. Good. We can fill those positions. And then without the drivers, if there is a shortage, someone is sick maybe one day, what kind of effect does that have here? Uh, it, it adversely affects the students, first and foremost, because they're late to school or late to get home, and many have... Uh, we may leave at 6 o'clock in the morning, and then if their bus doesn't show up in the afternoon due to no drivers, they might not get home until 6 o'clock. So it makes for a long day. All right. And, hey, what kind of person are you looking for? Any, anybody out there maybe you want to just encourage? What would make a good bus driver? Our, some retired uh, folks are some of our best employees where they uh, are looking for something to keep them busy, and we've got just a job for them. <laughs> Right. And hey, you know, if you work here in Greer, you're going to be part of the family. That is one thing we've learned all morning. Guys, thanks for staying with us because I think just about every bus driver has gotten breakfast, and that is very important. Back to you. Yeah, definitely. I feel like that <laughs> job might be um, one of those thankless jobs sometimes. Oh, you know, sure. You take for granted, but they do a big thing for the school district. And they've had to be scrambling all year long because yeah. they've had this shortage throughout. They've even gone outside Greenville County looking for bus drivers. Yeah. So they're trying everything they can. Emily, 85 here by Pelham's looking pretty good.